Prince Harry broke an unspoken contract with the British people when he and his wife Meghan Markle left the UK for a new life in California, a royal commentator has claimed. In 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior working members of the royal family before moving to the US. A year later in March 2021, they made several bombshell claims against the royals in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Now, a long-standing critic of the couple has claimed Harry will continue to suffer a severe backlash from his fellow Brits for his part in the move, which was dubbed Megzi. Daniela Elsa said, For years on end, Brits were entranced by the outwardly chirpy chap who appeared to have made peace with his royal identity. Then came the third act in the Harry story, the part where he turned on his heel and decided he wanted a different life, far, far away from grey skies and stiff upper lips. Elsa despite being based in Australia, spoke for Brits and said the entire nation's feelings were hurt, according to the Daily Star. She made the claims in her column for News.com. However, Statista reported in February 2024 that approximately 33% of people in Great Britain had a favourable impression of Prince Harry, even after Megzi. Nonetheless, Elsa said, I'm not sure an entire nation's feelings have ever been hurt in one fell swoop before but really, what else was the British reaction to Megzi but exactly that? Harry broke an unspoken contract with the people, one he had never been given a say over, and they have never, and I'm not sure will ever, forgive him. Harry returned to the UK earlier this month to attend a service marking the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games in London. However, a meeting with his father King Charles never took place, with a spokesperson for the Duke citing His Majesty's packed program. Meghan's visits to the UK have been few and far between since she and Harry left the country in 2020 to relocate to the UK. She was last seen in public in the US in September 2022, when she and Harry attended the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II.